Hello guys, in this video I will talk about the power of matrix and binomial formula. Power of matrix. For every square matrix A, we define its power as follows. A to the power of 0 is identity matrix and A to the power of P plus 1 is equal to A to the power of P times A. And here P is any natural number. Example, suppose we have the matrix of A. Let's calculate A to the power of P. First, I'm going to calculate A square. A square is, uh, by the definition, A times A will be 1, 0, 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 2 times 0, 1, 0, 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 2 will be 1, 0, 3, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 4. Then we calculate a cube. a cube is a squared times a. Okay, and we know that uh, the expression of a squared is this one. 1, 0, 3, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 4, times 0, 1, 0, 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 2, will be... 1, 0, 7, 0, minus 1, 0, and 0, 0, 8. From here, a to the power of 4 will be a cubed times a. We use this definition, this part. 1, 0, 7. 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 8 times 0, 1, 0, 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 2 is 1, 0, 15, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 16. Okay, the first element of first rows in a square, a cube, a to the power of 4 is 1, and here 1, 1. Last elements are 3, 7, 15. And also diagonal elements are 1, 1, 4, here, 1, minus 1, 8, and here, uh, 1, 1, and 16. And the rest of elements are 0. Then here we can write 1, 0. Instead of 3, I will write 2 squared minus 1. And also here, instead of 7, we can write 2 cubed minus 1. And here, 2 to the power of 4 minus 1. Okay. 2 to, two to the power of 4 minus 1. 2 squared minus 1. 0. And here, 1. Instead of 1, we can write minus 1 to the uh, minus 1 squared. 0, 0, 0, 2 square. Here, 1, 0, 2 cube minus 1, 0, minus 1 cube, 0, 0, 0, 2 cube. And here, 1, 0, 2 to the power of 4 minus 1, 0 minus 1 to the power of 4, 0, 0, 0, 2 to the power of 4.
from these expressions, we define the general formula for a to the power of p. Then a to the power of p will be 1, 0, 2 to the power of p minus 1, 0 minus 1 to the power of p, 0, and 0, 0, 2 to the power of p. And here we must prove that this is exactly true. Okay, to prove this one, I will use the induction method. And we know that induction method consists of two steps, basic step and induction step. First, we start from basic step. In basic step, we should prove that this expression is true for p is equal to zero. You know, then a to the power of zero will be identity matrix. Okay, it will be identity matrix. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1. By the definition, it's, it's true. Because the definition says that a to the power of 0 must be uh, identity matrix, and a to the power of p plus 1 is a to the power of p times a. Now let's show induction step. In induction step, we assume that A to the power of P is true. Let's prove that. A to the power of P plus 1 is 1, 0, 2 to the power of P. Plus 1, minus 1. 0, minus 1 to the power of P plus 1. 0, 0, 0, 2 to the power of P plus 1 is also true. Here I made a mistake. It will be minus one. Okay, let's prove this. To prove this one, we calculate a to the power of p plus one. By the definition, it will be a to the power of p times a. And here we assume that this is true because of this. We will write this expression instead of e to the power of p. 1, 0, 2 to the power of p minus 1. 0, minus 1 to the power of p. 0, 0, 0, 2 to the power of p times 1, 0, 1. 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, and 2 will be, and here we know that the first element, or A11, will be first row, that product, first column. It will be 1. And using the same procedure, A21 will be 0, A31 will be 2 to the power of p plus 1 minus 1, 0, up here we have 1, 0 minus 1 to the power of p plus 1, 0, 0, 0, 2 to the power of p plus 1. And this shows that our expression is true. Any power of identity matrix is also identity matrix. And any power of no matrix is no matrix. Binomial formula. Suppose that we have two matrices, 
of uh, size n times n such that a times b is equal to b times a. In this case, this formula is true, and this formula is called binomial formula for matrices. And here, p choose k is a binomial coefficient. If a times b is different from b times a, in this case, our expression uh, will be this, a squared plus a times b plus b times a uh, plus b squared, but you know here, instead of this expression, we can't write to a times b. And therefore, we can't use binomial formula here. Okay, let's look at this exercise. We have two matrices A and B. Let's calculate A to the power of P, B to the power of P, and here P is any non-negative uh, natural number. Show that A times B is equal to B times A, and then calculate A plus B to the power of P. Let's first calculate A to the power of P. If you look at the expression of uh, A, A is two times identity matrix, identity matrix of size three times three. From here, A to the power of P will be two times identity matrix to the power of P is two to the power of P times Identity matrix of i to the power of p will be identity matrix itself. Okay, that's it. Let's find the result of b to the power of p. To calculate this, first I will calculate b square. b square will be 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 3, 1, 0, times itself, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 3, 1, 0, is, it will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, and 0. From here, b cube will be b square times b is 0 0 0 0 0 0 2 0 0 times 0 0 0 2 0 0 3 1 0 and the result of this will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0, 0, 0. It will be no matrix. Then from here, we can say that B to the power of P is equal to no matrix if P is greater than or equal to 3. Okay, let's look at the second one. Let's show that A times B uh, is equal to B times A. A times B is 2, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 2 times 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 3, 1, 0 is equal to, you know, instead of this expression, this matrix, we can write two times identity matrix. One, zero, zero, and here we factorize two. Okay, one, zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one, times zero, 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 two, zero, zero, three, one, zero. But we know that a matrix multiplied by identity matrix will be matrix itself. Because of this, here, uh, instead of this, we write two times this one. 
is 0004062 and 0. That's all. Then we calculate B times A. And using the same method, if you calculate this, you will see the result will be 0, 0, 0, 4, 0, 0, 6, 2, 0. Okay, and this. And from here, from this and this, we obtain that A times B is equal to B times A. Okay, let's calculate A plus B to the power of P. And using the binomial formula, it will be K0 to P. P choose K. A to the power of P minus K times B to the power of K. If we uh, expand this sum, it will be P0, A to the power of P, identity matrix, plus P choose 1, A to the power of P minus 1, times P, plus P choose 2, A to the power of P minus 2, times B square, and the next one will be P choose 3, A to the power of P minus 3, and B to the power of 3, or B cube. But you know, starting from uh, 3, all of all of powers of P will be 0. Because of this, we, we write plus 0 matrix. That's it. And here, P choose 0 will be 1. A to the power of P is 2 to the power of P times identity matrix. I will write here 2 to the power of P times identity matrix times identity matrix will be identity matrix. This plus uh, P choose 1 will be P and it will be 2 to the power of P minus 1 times identity matrix times B plus P choose 2 will be P times P minus 1 over 2 times instead of A to the power of P minus 2 we write 2 to the power of P minus 2 times identity matrix multiplied by B square. That's it. And the plus zero matrix uh, is its uh, is this expression. That's okay. I don't write a zero matrix here. E is equal to two to the power of P identity matrix plus E B matrix B, B matrix. 2 to the power of P minus 1 times P times B plus P times P plus 1 over 2 times 2 to the power of P minus 2 times B square. That's all. Our result will be this expression. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching. See you guys next lesson.